Hello, my pretties, and welcome back to Don't Burn Dinner. This week, we are featuring a very special recipe, an applesauce with only two ingredients. There is nothing more delicious or tempting than an apple. Just ask my old friend Snow White. <laughs> we are starting off with five apples, your preferred type of apples, whatever works for you is great and we're chopping them into chunks. And this takes so long, I don't like cutting, so I'm gonna use magic, voila, done and done. Now that we've gotten that done, we'll fill up the bottom of the stock pot with your apple chunks and a half an inch of water at the bottom. Then cover with one tablespoon of cinnamon. It's gonna seem like a lot of cinnamon, but it's not, don't worry about it. A little bit more magic just to get that cauldron a boiling. Once it hits a boil, turn it down to a simmer and we're gonna let that rest for about 15 to 20 minutes. You know I had to look up Granny Smith and it turns out she existed. Maria Ann Smith lived in Australia and had an apple orchard. She was testing out French crab apples for her orchard, taking bites out of them and throwing them out her kitchen window. A little pile accumulated at the bottom of her windowsill and a chance seedling sprung up, which we now know as a Granny Smith apple. After 15 minutes of simmering, check your apples with a fork to make sure they're nice and soft. Then drain the excess liquid from the apples into the sink then go ahead and use a mashed potato masher to mush up those apples until you get a consistency like so. Gorgeous. And that, my dearies, ha, 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 is how you make two ingredient applesauce. So this you can give to the children for dessert. It makes a great midday snack. Keep in mind that when you're making it, your green variation of apples, your Granny Smiths will be tart. So you will get a tart applesauce. If you prefer sweeter, go with one of the red variations because they will give you a sweeter sauce. So thanks so much for joining us today and learning how to make two ingredient applesauce with us. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of our future easy, delicious and nutritious meals. Thanks so much and we'll see you next time. Bye.